welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Prestige P and if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Anyways, this a video, well, I am bare faced right now. Just came out of the shower and I decided to do a review of the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I know, I know, I know. I am late to the game. This foundation been out for a very long time and I just got my hands on it. But basically, I will be doing a review slash thoughts and I will also be wearing this foundation throughout the entire day. Okay, so I bought the foundation and I also bought the primer and you know, basically I do have dry skin so you guys know how that go. I'm going to be testing it out to see if it's good, to see if it's full coverage and all of that good stuff. But yeah guys, before we get into this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below right here right now and also turn on your notification because i do upload every single tuesday thursday and sunday so yeah let's jump into this video <laughs> okay guys so normally i will be doing my eyebrow first before i come on camera but today is different i'm gonna be putting on the foundation first and also the primer and i got this primer the other well basically it came last night in the mail and i was like i gotta get this up I gotta do this video and I do have the um the concealer. I have the Kat Von D concealer and it is full coverage. I love it so much and I got the foundation and I picked up the shade Deep 78 Neutral. So I am praying and I'm hoping that this is my shade. Oh god, oh god, okay, so I already moisturized my face because you guys know I do have dry skin so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the um, hydrated primer and base okay so this is what it is you guys already know it already I am late to the game but you know what I don't care whenever I get the money I'm gonna buy my stuff as I said I don't get nothing from PR so this is not a sponsored video and yeah so this is the primer and base and i'm gonna go ahead and put it on okay so you guys if you guys know about this already it's white oh god <laughs> okay it doesn't have any smell and it feels very moisturizing it feels really good wow and you guys know i have dry skin so i'm praying that this doesn't dry out my skin more so you know let's see how it go so from the start okay so it feels like a moisturizer you know it, it's safe primer and base it feels very good on my skin right now. I don't feel like it's drying out my skin. I mostly have dry like spots like on my T-zone. That's where it really dries out. So I'm going to put it mostly on my T-zone. You know, so <laughs> I am praying that this works. You know, so I'm going to go ahead and just do that. And I'm going to let it sit maybe for like one minute just so that I could seep down into my skin so that, you know, when I put on the foundation, you know, it's good. So I'm going to let it sit for like a minute and then I'm going to start with the foundation. Okay, so now for the foundation, I said I'm in the, I picked up the shade D78 Neutral. I am praying that this is my shade, but I am on the website right now. And it goes for $35 and the, um, let me read a little bit about what it say it to. It say lock it foundation rocks so hard, creamy and pigmented. It is the only long wearing liquid formula we can count on to create a perfect canvas on any skin type. And it say that it is a full 24 hour without touching up or reapplying. So basically, you know, um, yeah, it's 24 hour. I'm not going to be wearing it for 24 hour. Normally when I do a review or if I bought, if I buy a foundation, 
and I put it on my face within like an hour I know I will know if the foundation works for me that's how my skin is my skin is very sensitive my skin is very 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 dry and with the NARS foundation that I do a review on I started to see patches and I started to see like movement on my foundation within half an hour so I don't have to keep on my foundation for like 24 hours, 6 hours, 7 hours, 8 hours, 12 hours. I don't have to do that. Trust me. I will know exactly <laughs> if this foundation works for me within, I would say within an hour. I will definitely know. But basically it say, you know, 24 hour, no touching up and all of that good stuff. So that's the reason why I bought the, um, the base, the primer and the base so that I could, you know, work with it together with the nars i didn't buy the um primer or anything else i just bought the foundation so i said okay let me buy both of them to see if both of them will work together so i am going to go ahead and start off with one side of my face to see how it look and i'm going to do like two pumps this is how it look it definitely looked like my skin tone definitely so I'm going to use a damp beauty blender and I'm going to start off with one side. Let me go on with this one. Okay, so off the back, it feels like skin on my face. Like it feels like I have nothing on and I mean, to me, it's not... I don't know it's not full coverage like um, my Huda like when I put on my Huda I say yes this is definitely full coverage I don't have to build it up but basically you could see this side and then you could see this side you could definitely see a difference but to me it is not like a hundred percent full 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 blown out full coverage I will build it up like I did put like two pumps, so this is one side of my face and you know you got to go down to your neck, but I like it. It's really good. I, it feels like nothing on my skin and I don't like when I put on foundation, it, I feel it, my skin feel heavy. I don't like it. I hate it. I want to put on my foundation and no one know that I have on foundation. And this is exactly what it's given me. I love it so much. Like, so far, I am loving this. And I don't have nothing bad to say right now about this foundation. I love it. You know, I will build it up. I'll probably put one more pump on this side, just a little bit more. But I could work with just this alone, to be honest. Like, I don't have to build it up. But if you want, you can. But I love it. So I'm going to go do, I'm going to put two pumps and I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so I did the other side and oh my God, I'm loving it. Wow. This is definitely my shade. I am pleased with this. This is so pretty. It feels like nothing on my skin, which I, I love so much. And it's good. Like, look at my skin right now. Like, I am in love with this foundation. And, I mean, I cannot believe I haven't picked up this foundation. Like, I cannot believe I'm so late into this game. Like, what is going on with me? Like, come on. I should have been having this foundation. Like, I shouldn't even waste my money on NARS. Like, basically, I picked up the wrong foundation. I should have picked up this before I picked up NARS. But everybody was raving about the NARS and all of that stuff. So, that's why I got it. But, <sighs> okay. Let me calm down. Let me calm down because this is not the end. You know, I have to wear it throughout the day to see how it looks. But I am in love. I am in love with this. This looks so good on my skin. Like, wow. 
and I did not do any color correct or anything. You guys know that I normally use my MAC to color correct or to, you know, hide the dark spot on my eyelid. Look at that. Let, look at my eyelid. This is so good. I love it so much. So, as I said, guys, I do have the, um, the um, concealer, which is right here. And I am in love with the concealer. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to use the concealer and just going to put it right under my eyes and wherever I normally conceal. And you guys know that this concealer is full coverage. I'm going to go ahead and use the same beauty blender and I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. Okay guys, so I am back. I did went ahead and I used the Patrick's powder from MAC just to set my under eyes after I do the concealer. But basically, my skin is feeling very flawless right now. I am pleased with the whole entire look. But I'm going to go ahead and finish off my eyebrow. I'm going to finish off my eyes and all of that stuff off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back. Finish up my face off camera. Right now, I am loving this whole entire Kat Von D Lucky Foundation. It feels like nothing on my skin, and that's exactly what I want when I put on my makeup. So right now, it is 10.53 in the morning, and I have a couple of stuff to do. I did not have my breakfast right now, so I'm going to go ahead and have my breakfast. I'm going to go out on the road. I'm going to do a couple of stuff. And then when I come back, maybe around 3, 4, 5 o'clock, I don't know what time, but I'll be back later on and I will tell you my final thoughts about this and see exactly how it looks on my face after a couple of hours. So yeah, I'll be right back, okay? Okay guys, so I am outside in my car about to go do some stuff. Uh, my skin still looks flawless as ever. No touching up. Right now it's 3.40 and i am gonna go out i'm in my car um have to do a couple of stuff but pretty much i just want to come and just show you guys what's been up throughout the day still looking flawless as ever i am loving this my face feels so natural as ever and basically i'll be back in a couple of hours right now it's 3 40 maybe i come back around six o'clock or so and yeah hmm let you guys know what's up and yeah so i'll be back in a couple of hours okay guys so i am back into my studio and let me tell you something this foundation the kat von d is a go for me i love it so much it looks so flawless on my skin i am so shocked because this kind of remind me of my other foundation that I love, which is the MAC, the Fenty, and all of that. But I love this. Like, this feels so good on my skin. It's not moving around. It feels so good. I do have smile lines around here, which is always, I always have that. So, that's nothing to worry about. And I do have creases here, which is always like that. I always have creases underneath my eyes, like always. Doesn't matter what, I always have creases. But look at my skin, guys. Like, look at it. Just look at it. So pretty, so flawless. I don't have any complaint. Like, I am sold. I will definitely be buying this again when it's finished. Like, I got my money's worth for this whole entire like i am loving this this is so nice on me and i will definitely recommend anyone who want a nice very natural foundation try out this kat von d lock it foundation i am so pleased and my shade which is deep 78 neutral this matches my skin so much like look at compared to my neck 
it just even out i am shook i am so shook i'm happy right now what time is it let me tell you what time is it right now it is 6 31 remember i told you i did it around what time did i say 10 30 something like that i don't know but look at this from that time until now and it's still looking flawless on me like i have nothing on my face i am shook i am happy and i am glad that i bought this foundation no regrets nothing at all i'm happy so yeah guys that's my final thoughts and review of the kat von d locket foundation even though you know it's been out for a long time but you guys know i don't have pr my own money so i get it when i have the time and i have the money but yeah i am so happy i cannot believe that i never get this foundation i have the concealer and i can never get the foundation like what but i'm happy i will be using it a lot and i'll be using it a lot throughout my tutorials and all of that stuff but yeah guys basically that's it of the review such thoughts and i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up please go ahead and subscribe to my channel before you click off and i will definitely see you again in my next video bye guys